Yeah, so I was just trying to go to the beach, and then Mark Ridley Thomas got sentenced to three and a half years for public corruption. And this is the media scrim. And I just thought, you know, let's take a little break on going to the beach and see what's happening here with the wonderful pending removal from public life and from freedom of someone who has betrayed the people and specifically who sold his votes as a supervisor for the benefit of private interests. The Los Angeles County Museum of Art was demolished because of Mark Ridley Thomas's vote. Mark Ridley Thomas voted to allow a land bridge to be created over Wilshire Boulevard. That was required for the scheme that the billionaires who run the Los Angeles County Museum of Art, even though it is publicly a public institution owned by the public on public land, the billionaires needed the vote of Mark Ridley Thomas to be able to span Wilshire, and they got it. And the Sony email hacks, sleazy as they are, reveal how it was negotiated. And it happened. And LACMA was demolished. The William Pereira campus. Speaking of William Pereira, this is the Los Angeles Times William Pereira edition. We landmarked it, Richard and I, and a team of people from the Times and historians, including Alan Hess. We landmarked the Los Angeles Times, but Mark Ridley Thomas's colleague, Jose Wizar, rewrote our landmark nomination so that Ani Group, a Canadian developer who gave him $50,000, well, didn't give it to him, gave it to his wife's election pack, could tear it down for a tower. That's right, a giant tower right here next to the federal courthouse where Mark Ridley Thomas has just been sentenced to three and a half years in prison. Jose Wizar, we know that you stalk our Instagram because you've only emerged from your social media, uh, what do you call it? Break? I don't know. You've only re-emerged from your social media silence to comment on us when we've made fun of you. Hey, asshole. Ooh, I cursed. What you did was wrong, and arguably what you did was worse than what Mark Ridley Thomas did. He's going to prison for three and a half years. He got an extra week of freedom because the judge doesn't want to sentence him to prison on his birthday. Who deserves that type of special treatment? Someone who betrayed the people, apparently. But it must really hurt for the people in the courthouse who are part of this cadre who've destroyed Los Angeles, including the cadre that sold off the LA Times and want to demolish this perfectly good, brutalist building, which has so much embedded carbon in it that the destruction of it is actually going to contribute to the death of human beings on this earth. I don't know, I'm a little pissed off because I want to be at the beach right now, but I'm not because Mark Ridley Thomas has been sentenced and how can I miss? The opportunity to be standing here at the courthouse, which by the way, I got into a big fight with security last time I tried to go to the cafeteria here because like I had a little small security device on my keychain and they gave me grief about it. They said they wouldn't hold it for me. They were going to throw it in the trash. It was just like one of those little cat shaped things that you can, you know, hold on your knuckles in case you have to punch someone. But Mark Ridley Thomas is in there, presumably not carrying any such thing on his keychain. And he's going to be sentenced. He has been sentenced. He gets to go home and think about what he's done. And I know that he thinks he is blameless. And he thinks that the things that he did with USC are good. But fundamentally, they did no good for Los Angeles. They betrayed the people. They contributed to the sense of disconnection between our representatives and the citizens. When I look out over Los Angeles, what I see is just tragic, wasted, bad ideas. Because at this point, you idiots who are in City Hall have abrogated the responsibility of actually determining what's good for Los Angeles and have allowed developers and lobbyists who don't even represent LA interests, they are investing for international real estate concerns. And many of them actually find it more expedient to hold buildings empty, which we've seen all over LA. How did we learn all this? Giving true crime bus tours, giving a Raymond Chandler bus tour, going to buildings and seeing them emptied out as the speculators who finance the re-election of you clowns like Jose Wizar and Mitch O'Farrell and Mike Bonin, Mike Bonin, who now wants to prove, pre present, pretend that he's some sort of hero after he let the Chili Bowl be demolished for a non-existent housing project, a scheme by his buddies at Abundant Housing, 
pretending that they had a redevelopment project in the works, which they didn't. None of you guys have any ideas. What's good for Los Angeles? Probably listening to Angelinos. Are Angelinos impressed by any of this? No. Okay, I'm gonna be a little less worked up. I'm just really hoping Mark Ridley Thomas comes out so I can go to the beach. Uh, I like going to the beach. But meanwhile, this is the scrim. And I don't know if you guys want to listen to me bellyache anymore, but maybe you just want to see who's out here. Oh, wow, is that Megan Kuna? Our sighting. Back in the day, he was. Jerry Edwards from the Flying Fox. Wait, the Flying Fox? I remember that place. He's just a legendary. Oh wow! That's not just the Flying. You got you, you, So you need to always say the legendary when you say that name, because <laughs> everybody knows this spot. Yeah. I was sad to see it go. Beautiful sign on the Flying Fox. I admired that sign a lot. I like signs. You got it's, it. It's, I, yes, sir. It's iconic. Listen, we have different opinions, but the community or the people who've been hurt. The owner of the Flying Fox feels personally betrayed and really ticked off, and I hear him, and I'm glad I gave him a chance to be heard. I'm going to not go live for a second. Hang on a second. And it's happening. So that little boy in the blue tie there, it's all his fault. It's because he had dirty, grabby hands in the assembly and couldn't leave his co-workers alone that his father tried to bail him out with this sleazy, incredibly blatant scheme with USC. And I, you know, I admire Sebastian for actually showing up and standing there. We all know it's his fault. He was supposed to be the golden child who became the next leader. But leaders don't grow up in the shadow of other leaders. I think that's Sebastian anyway. I hope it is. <laughs> Otherwise I'll sound like a fool. I'm willing to do that. My name is Sinclair Ridley Thomas. No, it's the other son. Disappointed in the current state of affairs relating to the proceedings of 
market to come too strong. We know Mark is kind and loving. Husband, father, grandfather, brother, nephew, cousin, and uncle. And we are honored. Hey, Gadflies. Glad to see you here. Pardon me? Hello, Gadflies. Nice ah, to see you here. Wow. I'm supposed to be at the beach, but I stopped. Official business. Yes, sir. Okay, good. Presidential candidate Cornell West owes some money on his child support, but God bless him. I sold out the LA County Museum of Art. I'm sorry. You know, Cornell West can just zip into Los Angeles and act like he knows something about Mark Ridley Thomas. I'm sure Mark has been lovely to him, but Mark has been horrible to the citizens of Los Angeles. Hello, Richard. Cornell West is out here telling us what a good guy Mark Ridley Thomas is. What the hell does he know about Los Angeles? I'm sorry. Cornell West, running for president, is telling us how great Mark Ridley Thomas has been as a leader. Anyway, I'm Corn to Cornell West is a great individual. I know. Yeah. I'm live on Instagram, just FYI. Cornell West is a great individual. I want to get you here in front of the LA Times that you've landmarked. I've been talking a little bit about Jose Wizar and the scheme and how all of these people abrogate the responsibility for making decisions about Los Angeles to the lobbyists and developers who are profiting from it. It's a bummer. And this is... They let the politicians make it. Well, this is what happens when you don't make your own decisions. Ooh. Found a parking space. That makes me so happy. The gadflies are here. Anyway, let's go hear what they have to say. Can you hold this for a second? I'm here to help, Kim. All you do is help. Okay, good. Thank you. Good answer. Let's go listen. to tear down our L.A. County Museum, a beautiful museum by William Pereira. 
the same architect who built the LA Times directly behind us, that Jose Huizar voted to tear down for the benefit of Ani Group. Wow. He could have been a great leader, but he decided that he was going to sell out Angelinos. I know that you don't want to be a part of that, and it's a hard road you're well, walking. No, we got deep disagreements, my sister, but this is not the time to, to negotiegate that now. I'm not no, negotiating you, with you. I'm no, letting you no, know you, that you, the you, LA you, County you, Museum matters, sir. You're getting in my way. You're getting in my way. All right? I'm not. This is... I'm trying to get back. I'm trying to get back. Sir? We, we just have disagreements. That's all. We don't have disagreements. We care about the world and about people. Oh, I care about the arts. Of, that's good. We yeah. do have disagreements in that part. How much time have you spent in Los Angeles, just for my curiosity? How much time? No more comments to you. I've said what I got to say. Okay. As you leave the federal courthouse where Mark Ridley Thomas has sold out the people of Los Angeles, has been sentenced to three and a half years. You're putting his life in danger now. No, I'm not, darling. Good luck. Have a great day. Grand Central Market. Great place to have something to eat. Bye. I had to. I had to. Told me spread the word. Well, Curly's going to prison. He used to be cool. What the fuck happened to Cornell West? He used to be cool. Cornell West. Uh, That's Cornell West. West. He's running for president. There he goes. Running for what? President. He's ah. right. Presidential candidate. Go talk to him. Oh, what a joke. <laughs> he likes <laughs> what he likes. Do we have a puppet? Do we have a puppet That's in the today? Oh, he can't on. bring puppets. He can't bring video right. recorders. So and ball. they didn't let me bring my little my little keychain thing with the with the cat on it. If I can put people's eyes out with. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, here comes Richard. <laughs> Couldn't bring my. Sweater with a phallic symbol on it. <laughs> you gotta wear two layers, but it's hot. Well, well, yeah, the council chambers get to be cold, so. I know, the they do that on purpose. And then the other one, I. Richard, I have to tell you, I just gave Cornell West a hell of a time. He doesn't like me. Who, I'm Mike, who are you? Me? Yeah. I'm the person who helped landmark the LA Times, and Jose Wizar rewrote my landmarking nomination and his. So we can tear, tear it down for the Canadian Developer Audi Group. LAPD March? Pardon? No, sir. Mark Ridley Thomas has been sentenced to prison. Yeah. 36 months. He won't serve that much. <laughs> I know. You know that. I know that. He may not serve any of it. Listen, if the Englander was supposed to do what? Six to eight months, he only did three? He made a deal. He had a good deal. He made a good deal. That's a great deal. He was also the dumb one. What? But Mark? Bender was in a federal prison, not in Arizona, so that right. was nice. Yeah. Well, those country club prisons. Nice Florida, like Ecuador 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 Ecuador. Now, what do you think about <laughs> public corruption <laughs> and people Florida, who when, don't when actually love dogs, they, they just use oh, them for their Instagram the channels? That's, that's, yeah. <laughs> I feel the same way. You <laughs> never hear yeah. of that Ecuador Air Force base prison. Speak, Papa. Thank you. Thank okay, you. Thank job. you. I'm sure I'm sure that's got more than the <laughs> I just gotta leave us with this because we're going to the beach. Desperately. That's why I look like this. I'm going to the beach. Uh, hey, look, here's an actual judge. Well, we used to have judges. God bless Judge Bridgerson. And Lod Breast Los Angeles. I'm going to wish everybody a happy Mark Ridley Thomas Conviction Day. Bye, fellas. Uh, hi, guys. We, we heard some tea. Yeah, if you do a nice panning shot down to the strip. You mean you want me to walk down? Am I doing an okay job? Yeah, I've had enough to drink. Okay, that's good. Okay, We're just going to zoom in on the, the scrim. I don't know if... I don't think Mark's come out yet or everyone wouldn't still be hanging out here. I'd like to see him come out, but I had a lot of fun talking to Brother Cornell West. I see people coming out. They look unhappy.
this is sort of the still life before the storm. There's Megan the reporter, Megan Kunif, who's been doing such amazing work as a journalist with a deep knowledge and passion for justice in the courts, who just gets in on these cases. I mean, sometimes there's something as light as Smokey Robinson testifying about a very small contract case, which is on her blog this week. Highly recommended reading her work. She's so informed, she's so thoughtful, she's funny, and her her Twitter is absolutely unmissable. Her Substack is great. Sitting here in the shadow of the empty LA Times after the newspaper's been gutted, which is part of the reason we're in this public corruption scandal in the first place, crisis. I'm grateful for independent journalists like Megan and for channels like Substack and, and even Twitter. I mean, listen, they're problematic channels, but at the end of the day, it is the writers and their intellect that matter, and she's got them both, and we're grateful for her work, and we amplify her whenever we can. She's, uh, no, she's done some great work in this building. Anyway, I hope that Mark comes out, because I want to go to the beach. Maybe he'll just stay inside and not go to the, not come out at all. He doesn't have to leave. He can just live here. He's just going to wait and hope the, me the media leaves. And I don't blame him. It's humiliating. No one wants it to come to this. I have no opinion on it. It's not, I'm happy it's not me. Okay. Well, that's, that's my opinion. Happy fair enough. It's not me too. You want to go to the beach and just give it up? Give it up to God? Maybe he's coming out now. Someone's coming out. Well, they look like lawyers. What time is it? Well, oh, I'm not going to miss my beach day for Mark Ridley Thomas. Okay, I'm gonna have one last soliloquy, and then if he's not out, we're going to the beach. My friends, Ani Group wants to tear down the Los Angeles Times William Pereira edition, built by Otis Chandler. The only part of the paper, which by the way, reflects the progressive, Pulitzer-winning, significant journal that the LA Times still continues to fly the banner of being. If they tear it down, it is a win for corruption. They could actually just tear down the William Pereira designed parking lot, and that would be fine. Or they could be progressive, intelligent developers, which they're not, and put a tower above this beautiful several well, six-story structure, which has so much embedded carbon, is built by a master architect, reflects the values of the Los Angeles Times as a significant journal, and is a protected city landmark, except for the fact that Jose Wieslar, who has now confessed to racketeering, rewrote our landmark nomination. Jose, if you're listening, I do not consent to collaborating with you because you suck. You have no knowledge of historic preservation. You have no ideas. I'm going to say this. Not a lot of people know this. You know that Night on Broadway thing that he did that everyone loved? That was our idea. We were running the art walk, and we were like, oh, they should do something like that in Boyle Heights. And we sent all of our documentation are making the case statement document to Jose Wizar's office in CD14. And we're like, hey, you guys should do something like this. And the next thing we knew, it was Night on Broadway, with, presented by Jose Wizar on the front of every marquee. Oh no, there's the town crier. Everybody's coming out. This is like, this is like the whole world coming together. It, it's like a class reunion. It's all different, baby. I went to the, the homeless case. I didn't. I was just oh no, you missed, you missed all the drama. I just I just gave Cornell West a piece of my mind. Oh my God, really? Defending someone who sold out Angelinas. It's not okay. He doesn't know anything about LA, and he doesn't care. He's an East Coast guy. That's the other thing. Everybody don't care. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the gentleman who owned the Flying Fox was here, and he was heartbroken, and I hear him. You know. People respected Mark. They thought he was a leader for their community and he was pulling all this nonsense. That makes me sad. So I got him on video too, because what he has to say is important. Oh, so he came out? 
Yeah, yeah he was yeah. one of the Mark Mark's not come out. No. Speaking of the owner of the flying car. Yeah. Really? Oh, so there was the, the, the everybody got to come go up and talk about. Some people there spoke. Was, there was an impromptu press conference when the homeless vet talked with Mark. By his defense. Well, what happened at the homeless case? You want to give a little report? Not uh, just the just the fact that all they did was um, they're trying to. Uh, well, they were just trying to get a date set for the next either litigation or hearing or whatever. So. Which case is this? Um, this is the Judge Carter. The LA Alliance. Yeah, yeah LA Alliance. Yeah. And then there was the veterans homeless case also as well on the VA grounds. Oh, that's very important to us. We've been watching that one for so a long time. So that was time. actually going to be in a lot of the, the what are the court reporters? The ones, well, not yeah. the reporters, but the yeah, yeah, yeah. The journalists are going to be writing about that one. Good, that it's important. That was pretty interesting. I mean, it's such a massive compound and they've just neglected it terribly. Well, the whole, the whole issue with that one is, is that what my understanding is, what I heard, because I'm no expert, but is that the, the government is trying to say that they're not responsible to build any housing with their money because the law restricts them from doing it. Which basically, if you read the congressional uh, record or whatever they call legislation, because yes. I, I went through that because they're building all that housing right now. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, they they're actually them. restoring existing housing, which is separate from building. Well, they are up. building housing. They're building new stuff. They yes. built the one thing in the center, but that was some years ago. No, they're building. They're building lot. more new. Yeah, they okay. got a whole bunch of housing. If you look at the plan, you go on there, you can see the plan. So basically, what they're saying, they, they can lease the land to private developers. Oh, right. But they can't build the housing. So, according to what my understanding is, and that I think that's what they're going to try to argue, is that they're not responsible. Hmm. They did put up one of those sprung structures. It took them forever to get the landscaping done. It, it, it took like three years. It was really distressing to watch it. And that was a hundred people. Can I get Father Jones for number for Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course. Well, can I like do that while you're alive? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you want to do that? Okay. Oh, you want me to go? I, I, I want to see the phone because I want to give him Father Jones' phone number. No. You take his number and you'll... Like, I'm live streaming. Mark can come out at any moment. He's trying to get the, the Come on, shot, like right? people are watching this right now on, on the live the stream. Shot. I don't do this a lot, but I know enough to know that I can't hand you the phone and let you like start scrolling through your phone. You can't do that. All your contacts will be on the screen. conditioning in this courthouse. Garlands, we're paying for it, so I'm going to enjoy it. Oh, that feels good. It's very hot out here. Hi, David. How are you? Oh, Commissioner? I need to talk to you. I need to go off live. My friends, I love you. Goodbye. The air conditioning is fantastic. Kim also runs. You're witnessing history, Angelinas. Some very highly paid attorneys from San Francisco, mostly, who couldn't come down and, and do this work last week because of the storm. Why do San Franciscans want to help Mark Ridley Thomas so much? These are the DOJ. These are the people on our side. I'm not very good at this. I haven't done it a lot. I'm not Megan the reporter, but I'm, I'm learning.
but everyone else is getting this, and I'm not doing a good job at all. That's the DOJ. Yeah, they look like they're federal prosecutors. They're all very tall, except for him. Tall people get the job. I've heard that. Okay, to be honest, it's just kind of stressful and boring. I'm going to go talk to people.